Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 hardest instruments to learn. As you play the instrument, those strings start to hum, and it just fills out the sound of the instrument. For this list, we're looking at the musical instruments that have the highest degree of difficulty. Can you play any of these instruments? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, flute. Do you play jazz flute? I dabble. The right flute melody can bring the listener to tears. And trying to play even one note from this woodwind instrument can lead to some serious tears of frustration. <laughs> Made of metal or wood, the flute requires proper mouth placement and blowing technique to send air across the hole. This is a lot tougher than it sounds, and it can take hours of practice before you produce anything resembling music. <coughs> hold on, hold on, I'm not, I'm not hearing it right. I'm not hearing it right. <coughs> to improve your abilities as a flautist, adjust your mouth and breathing little by little until you find the right tone. And as with many other things in life, take a deep breath before you start. <laughs> Number 19, piccolo. A piccolo is a woodwind instrument that's basically a flute, just smaller. And I'm gonna put my earplug in, and if you're starting to play piccolo, you should too. Like a full-sized flute, this instrument, literally Italian for small, requires the player to blow sideways to produce sound. So you need to have a high lung capacity and know how to direct your breath to play the piccolo and produce its gorgeous high notes. Why should you go for the piccolo when the flute is already available? Its size is preferable for players with smaller hands. Plus, if you want to stand out as a musician, there's nothing like telling people that you know how to play the piccolo. Number 18, wheel harp. It's difficult enough to handle six strings on an instrument, but 61? That is the number on this remarkable instrument. With your own two hands, you can play such as like a cello quartet, sextet, or octet right there with your own 10 fingers. Playing the wheel harp involves using an attached keyboard and pedal in tandem with the strings to create a tone as intimidating as it is beautiful. But to reach that point, you need to practice quite a lot. Unlike most instruments on this list, the wheel harp is fairly new, first appearing at a music trade show in 2013. However, it has its forebears, such as the Hurdy Gurdy and Leonardo da Vinci's Viola Organista. Looking for an instrument out of the average musician's wheelhouse? Try the wheel harp. Number 17, Hardingfella. Do you like the violin but find it to be a little too mainstream? Then you might want to try the Hardingfella. This instrument, otherwise known as a Hardinger fiddle, looks a lot like a violin, but it has eight or nine strings compared to the four on a typical violin. What's more, you only play four of the strings like you would a violin which causes the other understrings to sound. A national instrument of Norway, the Hardingfella is a demanding but incredibly rewarding instrument. It's also been used in some spectacular film scores, including Dunkirk, How to Train Your Dragon, and The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Number 16, didgeridoo. When you hear a didgeridoo in a song, it's hard to notice anything else. This wind instrument was first created by Australian Aboriginal peoples more than 1,000 years ago. It 
it can also be as long as 10 feet and, when played correctly, produces an entrancing tone. But playing involves more than just blowing into the hole. In through the nose, out through the mouth. To master the didgeridoo, you must first master circular breathing. This involves inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth at the same time to keep the air flowing and the sound going. The first few days or weeks of didgeridoo practice might leave you short-breathed, but it is worth practicing. Studies indicate that playing the didgeridoo can help with conditions like snoring, asthma, and obstructive sleep apnea. Number 15. Guitar The guitar is the classic go-to instrument for the fast-track to rock and roll superstardom. If only it were that easy. Whether electric or acoustic, guitars all get played pretty much the same way. For a right-handed player, that means fretting chords or single notes with their left hand while maintaining a strumming rhythm or plucking single strings with their right. At first, simply pressing down on the fretboard to create a note can be difficult and downright painful. Level guitar playing can be easy enough to learn, but guitar is hard to master given how many styles it can be played in and the related techniques used in each style. Even on the basic level, coordinating both halves of you to work in sync and play something musical can be a challenge. Number 14. Viola Voila! The viola is another stringed instrument that's not for the novice musician. At first glance, it looks a lot like a violin. So we're what's called one of the inner voices. So we're often playing, along with the second violins, we're playing the insides of the harmonies. But a viola is bigger and produces a lower tone. The heavier weight adds another challenge, as does the amount of pressure you need to use. We wouldn't recommend starting your musical journey with a viola. But we do have a C string, um, which I think is what gives the viola its voice, it really gives it the timbre and the, the, its unique color. However, if you are a violinist who's looking for that next great musical challenge, give the viola a try. Aside from learning a new instrument, you can also look forward to developing additional arm and finger strength. Number 13. Nickel Harpa The nickel harpa is a Swedish instrument that resembles a fiddle and which creates a sound that could be best described as mesmerizing. Playing the nickel harpa typically involves strapping the instrument around your neck and moving a bow across the strings with your dominant hand. Meanwhile, your other hand has to work the keys, which control the strings. Four rows of keys. Each row of keys goes to a string. This is a prime example of the coordination and muscle memory you need in order to be a great musician. Possibly dating back as early as the 14th century, the nickel harpa is a unique instrument, best played by unique people. Number 12. Cello Like other string instruments, playing the cello involves using a bow to create a rich tone. However, this instrument is much larger than a violin or viola, sitting vertically between the player's legs. What's more, there's a much greater range between the notes compared to those instruments. So, cello players have to change position much faster to play their pieces. It can take a while to get your bowing hand and fingering hand to work in tandem with each other. But once you do, you can say hello to the musical wonders of the cello.
Number 11. Bassoon The bassoon is a woodwind instrument that requires more than good breath control to play. While that is important, you also need to be able to use every one of your fingers and be able to handle two reeds at a time. You also have to learn how to use your tongue to touch the tip of the reed, to start and stop notes and change them. Looking like a saxophone crossed with a bazooka, the bassoon stands out in any orchestra. Another reason to not start with the bassoon is the cost. An affordable bassoon can still cost thousands of dollars. That's a good excuse to practice on the recorder before diving into the deep-toned waters of the bassoon. Number 10. Pedal Steel Guitar As its name implies, this kind of guitar also involves your feet. It takes the basic guitar design and puts it on a stand. As you play, you use the foot pedals to adjust the tone as necessary. This might sound easy, but novice pedal steel players quickly learn just how hard it is to control their hands and feet simultaneously. Be patient with this instrument and with yourself. Eventually, you can be pedaling and plucking your way through some beautiful songs. Though pedal steel is typically heard in country music, it's also shown up in other genres, such as jazz. Number 9. Oboe Requiring lungs of steel, the oboe is an instrument whose sound is solely dependent on how you use your mouth. At the top of the oboe is a reed that you use to control the sounds coming out. You must constantly open or close the reed to allow or restrict sound. And you have to make sure the reed itself is moist enough that sound wants to come out. Make sure it's not too wet though, or your oboe will be giving you a sloppy kiss when you try to play it. And this is before you even get to the whole business of actually fingering the keys and creating some music. Number 8. Bagpipes Most instruments fall into two categories, never to be moved or easily carried. But the bagpipes blur the line by being both cumbersome and bulky, while also being portable by design. If you plan on learning this one, you're gonna need some strength and endurance. Remember, I'm, I'm still learning. Strong lungs are another requirement, as you are constantly blowing into and squeezing the bag to get the desired sound, and you are quite likely marching while you're playing it. Similar to the accordion, bagpipes require constant stimulation in order to continue producing sound. It's an interesting instrument, and the sound it makes is enough to make anyone want to wear a kilt and strap on a sporin. But it's not for the faint of heart. Number 7. Drums Banging on something in time with the beat sounds easy enough, right? Wrong. Especially considering that in a band or orchestral setting, drums in any fashion are held responsible for making sure everyone else is on beat. Learning the basics is simple enough, but once you get into the real meat of it, drumming is a test of coordination and endurance. At its core, playing drums is actually playing multiple instruments at once. Even a basic beat will involve all four limbs. Sure, drummers from Tommy Lee to Levon Helm make it look easy, but it takes a lot of practice to master even a basic kit, let alone the full Neil Peart. Number 6. Accordion the accordion is an odd instrument, so it's only fitting that it is forever linked with the oddball Weird Al Yankovic. 
but given Al's level of proficiency on the instrument, maybe he's due even more respect than the internet already pays him. Playing the accordion is essentially like playing two instruments at once. On the end of the accordion is a small keyboard, and on the other, a set of buttons that controls bass notes. In addition to operating both of these simultaneously, you must constantly compress and expand the bellows of the accordion, allowing air to flow through the instrument, resulting in vibrations that produce the soft and harmonious sound heard in genres like folk, jazz, and world music. Number 5. Harp The harp is known for its beautiful and majestic tone, and to the untrained eye, it looks simple enough to play. Not only do you get to sit down, you just have to run your fingers across the strings and wonderful music is heard. Except not so much. While the actual plucking of strings is simple enough mechanically, the musical theory behind it is demanding. Plus, many forms of harp also incorporate foot pedals used to sharpen or flatten a note, further increasing this instrument's difficulty. Meanwhile, other types of harps have multiple courses or rows of strings. The fact is, keeping the flow on a harp is a challenge that would make anyone turn away. Master it, however, and you'll be able to play music that even angels would love. Number 4. Piano This instrument requires a fair bit of multitasking. When playing a piano, you must use both hands while simultaneously sight-reading lines of music. Most instruments will have you doing this, but the piano requires two lines of music, which can get confusing. While one's left hand is playing bass lines, the right hand is busy forming chords, melodies, or both, although neither role is ever truly set in stone. As with the guitar, there are many different styles of piano to play, each one with its own intricacies and techniques. However, anyone who can master this instrument and the level of musical theory that comes with it will have an advantage when they decide to pick up a second instrument. Number 3. Pipe Organ Where would houses of worship be without this important historical instrument? This is another instrument that requires a mastery of hand-eye coordination, especially since it has multiple layers of keyboards, in addition to a pedal board controlled by the feet. Each keyboard has its own set of voices, and knowing which to employ at what time is as much of a learning curve as melody, chord theory, or the actual playing. It's probably fitting that this instrument is normally used in churches because if you plan on learning the organ, you're going to need some divine intervention. Number 2. French Horn The French horn is a little odd looking. Because of its spiral shape, you need to have great lung control to be able to push the sound through the entire instrument. This is also an instrument that you need an unbreakable ego to play. Unlike others of its kind, if you don't have the least bit of confidence in your ability, you will not be able to even make a sound. Many horns in general are notorious for their difficulty, but the French horn blows them all out of the water. Pun intended. Want more music content? Watch Mojo produces an original podcast taking a behind the scenes look at all things music. The show provides authentic interviews with artists from all around the world, while also staying true to Watch Mojo's roots with top 10 music banter thrown into the mix. What's the best advice Alice Cooper's ever given you? Looking back at the staying power, does it shock you? Uh, no, we have naked pictures of the right people. If you want exclusive interviews with award-winning artists, producers, singers, songwriters, check out Inner Sleeve. Number 1. Violin The violin is a musically versatile instrument, and players like Ashley McIsaac make it look almost effortless to play. When it comes to playing the violin, position is everything. Holding a violin in the right position gets tiring, as you have to hold it up with your arm outstretched. When playing or changing notes, you need to position your fingers perfectly with no frets to guide you. 
and the position and pressure of the bow on the strings has to be just perfect. Being even slightly off with any of these components can lead to a huge shift in tone and performance. Even Lindsay Sterling had trouble with this, as pointed out during her performance on America's Got Talent. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.